Hello. This is a public service announcement. Uh, this is this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Too bad I'm not good at editing or I'd edit that out. Let me try that again. This is a public service announcement about a new landmark named Stupid Mountain. This video is about Stupid Mountain. It is warning you to stay off of Stupid Mountain. So, I'm going to explain here what Stupid Mountain is. Here on our y-axis of this graph, we have willingness to discuss the subject. Now, the subject could be any sort of conversational topic. Generally, an academic one is what we're talking about. So, you know, nutrition, um, how to lift, uh, how to do a lift properly. Uh, any could be, you know, a, the job of a doctor. Um, it could be how foods metabolize. It could be how hormones work. It could be... Um, if you're, you know, not totally obsessed with science like I am, it could be something else like, you know, I don't know, politics. Anyway, once you start learning about something, you start to become more willing to talk about it. Now, when you're learning about something, you gather knowledge about it. And what we tend to see is as people start to gather actual knowledge about the subject, you know, we're moving along the y-axis here, they become more and more willing to discuss the said subject until they reach here. This is a stupid mountain. Because once you start learning more about the actual subject, you start to realize, oh, hey, I don't actually know enough about this to talk about it yet. I should try learning more so that way I can have an intelligent conversation about this said subject. Unfortunately, a lot of people get stranded here at Stupid Mountain. They learn this much information and they are very willing to talk about the subject and people who are here who have tra uh, traveled past stupid mountain can tell that the people are on stupid mountain so point of this whole very short video is be aware that stupid mountain exists um and try not to talk about a subject while you're standing on stupid mountain now this isn't meant to insult people like, you know, I'm not trying to call people stupid or something like that. Like, this isn't supposed to be a mean video. I've been on Stupid Mountain many times. I mean, I said, like, the other day that, like, trans fats don't exist in nature. Uh, that was completely wrong. They do exist in nature. It's just in really, like, trace amounts. And um, man-made trans fats tend to be in higher concentrations. Um, I, I mean, I was wrong with that. When I said it, I was definitely standing on Stupid Mountain. I had a little bit of knowledge about trans fats, and I decided to, you know, go blurt out what I thought I knew about trans fats, but it turned out to be false. So, you know, I was on Stupid Mountain. I've been on Stupid Mountain plenty of times. Um, and I'm not saying, though, that that's a good thing. I'm, that It's not. Like, it, it gets really annoying for people who are not on Stupid Mountain or up here to hear you try to say that you're an expert and that you know all this stuff. Um, this especially is true with, like, uh, like, Christians. Whenever they say stuff like, um, you know, evolution doesn't exist. Well, anyone who's a biologist and is, you know, up here on their knowledge of evolution uh, knows that, yes, it does exist. And when you say evolution doesn't exist, period, like, uh, you're not stupid. So, again, that was just an example. Um, point being, please try to learn more actual knowledge about a subject before you talk about it so people don't point at you and go, ha, you're on stupid mountain. Um, the end.